Welcome back to Wild Outdoor Living. In this video, we're going back, way back to 1884 to take a look at a legendary photo and the story behind it. The 1880s are considered by some to be the peak of the American cyclist, or American wheelman as they were called at the time. And bicycle technology was experiencing revolutionary changes between the 1880s and early 1900s as well. Some designs stuck around, while others made only a fleeting appearance. Today, we fight over half a degree changes to head tube angle, or whether a 52 tooth cog is really necessary when 50 was just fine. Before the turn of the century, however, the changes were far more drastic. The year is 1884. The rider is Will Robertson, and the photograph was taken by the Platt Brothers, a local photography business. The location is the eastern steps of the Capitol Building in Washington, D.C. As someone who is interested in history, especially historical photographs, and as someone who is just generally obsessed with bikes, this image immediately caught my eye. The first thing I notice is the bike, which at first glance appears to be some sort of backwards penny farthing. The American Star Bicycle was created in 1880. The creation of G.W. Pressey, the American Star Bicycle was designed in part to address the most common danger of the standard high wheelers of the time. Riding a standard high wheeler, also known as a penny farthing, down a set of steps would have been borderline insane, though people had already done it. By moving the small wheel to the front, Pressey was able to largely prevent the common header or over-the-bars crash that was plaguing riders of standard high wheelers so often. The bike also employed a treadle drivetrain and spoon brakes. The treadle system was particularly interesting as one can tep could temporarily pedal with both feet in the same direction at the same time. Robertson and Smith did it, likely because they could, and in part due to the meeting of the League of American Wheelmen that was going to be in Washington, D.C. later that year. As famous as this image is, it would never be enough to prevent the demise of the American star. During the same time period, the safety bicycle was gaining popularity. Over the next couple of decades, it would begin to relegate all high wheelers to the history books. A bike with both wheels of equal size, with the rider in the center. What we now just call, well, bikes, early wheelmen referred to as safeties. They opened cycling up to far more people than the difficult-to-ride high wheelers, and since the rider weight is more or less balanced between both wheels, they were also far less twitchy than an American star. The next thing everyone wants to know about this photo is the photo itself. How was this taken? There is little information about the Platt brothers. It is believed that Harry lived in Nantucket, while Robert lived in D.C. Harry died in 1895 at the age of 44, while Robert died in 1937. What we do know is that the original photo housed at the Library of Congress was an album in print, one of the most popular photo printing methods of the second half of the 1800s. One interesting note about album prints is egg whites were the primary ingredient. In a quote, Harry explained that Robertson and Smith had ridden the Eastern Capitol steps earlier that year and claimed that they would do it again if someone would photograph it. Not only had Robertson and Smith ridden these steps before, but when the Platt brothers first attempted to photograph them, the photos came out blurry, so another attempt was made that resulted in the iconic image we so well, that's so well known today. The image was officially named A Perilous Ride. Thanks for watching this brief snippet of cycling history. This is the first historical video I have set out to make on this channel, so if this is something you would like to see more of, leave a comment below. We'll catch you later, guys.